Good day, everyone. Um, all my fellow Indians, my friends, my relatives, my brothers and sisters, and my children. Um, it's a good day today. It's really beautiful out. The sun is shining. That makes everyone feel good. It, um, the older people say when they look out towards the mountains and they see the uh, tamarack, or I should say larch, they turn color from green to yellow. Their needles have turned yellow. Then they say, that means that the needles of the, the larch trees have turned color. And then they laugh a little bit because it's, it's, there's another meaning for that word, um. but uh, there's two, two different meanings for that word. And then Sunday, there was a lot of snow when I woke up, I looked outside. Wow, this, there was snow on the ground. And I stepped outside and noticed that it wasn't cold, it was kind of warm. And I thought, well, after a while, all the snow will be gone. And sure enough, uh, most of the snow was gone in just a little while. That was our first snow. And usually happens around this time of the year. I think it's a little early, but not very early. And we're still in the fall season, and we're still in the hunting month, and there's still hunting going on, the white tail, the mule deer, the bull elk, the cow elk, the moose, those are our foodstuffs for this time of the year. This is the time of the year when um, intense hunting goes on. And many years back, the people would gather several families together and go to different areas to do their hunting. And they, they would move there. They would move their families there. And they'd call it Eschaemi. Amy. I know several of the elderly people, they're, as soon as they feel a little difference in the air, in the uh, seasons, that's one of the things at this time of the year that they think of when they've gone hunting in past times. Amy. Okay, uh, I want to also explain a little bit what I say when I start out. Um, 
Today, I think I said good day to everyone. Pesia is everyone. Isin my fellow Indians. Isin my friends. Istamatlis, my relatives. Isin my sisters and brothers. Isin my children and my grandchildren. So that's a greetings to the different people. We'll do a little review uh, on the greetings. Remember, ah, uh, that's what uh, people say when they're first say hello to someone. But most of the time, it's the men who say this word, ah. Hello. And then you respond, eh. Eh. Then if you want to wish somebody a good morning, you say chest. Chest is good. Then you add squekst. Chest squekst. Or if you just want to say good day, have a good day. Chest schadcha. Or chest schadchart. Chest schadchart. Hasn't been until just lately, people have been saying good afternoon. We usually didn't use it, but people are now. Chest sinyak oke. Chest sinyak oke. And then getting on later in the day, getting on towards evening, people say chest sinyak Chest sinyak And then when you greet someone in the evening, getting on towards dark, then you could say But when you're saying, when you're leaving other people, or if you're in the same house, you're leaving to go to bed, you say it's not common to say when you first see someone and greet them at night. You would probably say instead, and then when you're leaving, you say Okay. Now let's do a little review on numbers. I'll do one through ten and then go from 10 through 100 by tens. Just to make sure everybody knows their numbers. Numbers are important these days. In ku. In ku. Asel. Asel. Chetle. Chetle. Moose. Moose. Seal. Seal. Tuckin. Tuckin. Sispel. Sispel. He etnum. He etnum. Hutnut. Hutnut. 
open, open. Okay, and if you know those numbers by heart, then you can go from 10 through 19 by saying 10 and 1. And is et. So if you want to say 11, you would say open et and go. And then so on through the other numbers through 19. And then you would say for 20, Esl'u, Esl'u. 20 is two tens, Esl'upen. Thirty, chetl u, Three tens, chetl open. Forty, msl u, msl u. Four tens, msl open, msl open. Fifty. Tsilchlu. Tsilchlu. Five tens. Tsilchlupen. Sixty. Tkenchlu. Tkenchlu. Six tens. Tkenchlupen. Seventy. Spelchlu. Spelchlu. Seven tens. Spelchlupen. Spelchlupen. Eighty. Hetnumchlu. Hetnumchlu. Eight tens. Hetnumchlupen. And I'm open. Ninety. Hunt loo. Nine tens. Hunt open. Hunt open. One hundred. In cocky. In cocky. It would probably take a whole half hour for me to go from 1 through 100 using every single number. But if you know the numbers 1 through 10 by heart, then you could figure out how to go from 10 through 19 and 20 through 29 and so on. And a thousand open chstkin. I don't have it written down or anything, but. I'll do that one of these days. Okay, and then uh, one of the ways you use numbers is counting money. Counting money. You can tell time using numbers also, and one of these days we'll have a lesson on telling time. Because money and time go together. Ululim. That's what all the money is called, ululim. These are the bills, the denominations. Well, one dollar is in ku ululim. In ku ululim. Five dollars is tsil ululim. Tsil ululim. Ten dollars. Open ululim. Open ululim. Twenty dollars. Esil u ululim. Esil u ululim. Fifty dollars. Tsilchl u ululim. Tsilchl u ululim. One hundred dollars in koke. 
en Koke Ululim. Okay, those are the bills. The bills is uh, also called Kaimu. Uh, Kaimu. Now the coins, a penny or one cent in ku cents. In ku cents. A nickel or five cents. Tseel cents. Tseel cents. A dime or ten cents. Open cents. Open cents. A quarter is called kwate. Kwate. But if you um, want to say it a different way, you could say esil u el cents. But if you say kwate, that's understood that that's 25 cents. Okay. Well, why don't we take a break right now and we'll be right back with um, more things uh, about money and buy and stuff. Okay. The choices we make today affect our options for tomorrow. I choose not to smoke and pursued my ability to sing. I've been able to travel, make new friends, and see different cultures. Choose carefully. Don't limit your future. Yeah, here we are again. We'll go on uh, with some new words. What do we use? What do we use money for? Tempton, Lululim. Tempton, Lululim. What do we use money for? Aktumisten elinstra. Aktumisten elinstra. You use it to buy stuff. Sitten. Food. Tito, a house. Tito. Ipuishin. Ipuishin, a car. Chtsunumpton. Chtsunumpton, clothing. Akshakam asuwachim. You're going to pay your electricity. You're going to pay for your electricity. Akshakam asuwachim. Akshakam aseulk. Akshakam aseulk. You're going to pay for your your water. Akshakam anhulhui. Akshakam anhulhui. You're going to pay your bills. Okay, let's go back to the first again. Tempton. That's what is it for? Lululim. The money. Tempton. What is it for? Lululim. The money. Kind of sounds strange English wise, but it makes sense in Salish. Akl. That means it's for your. Tumisten is 
to buy at Inchla stuff or many things, different things. Akl for you to buy or to Meeston is to buy at Inchla things or stuff. And the different things you can buy, Seetlin, all your food, Seetlin. Seet, a house, Seet, a car. A poison, a clothing, chtsenumpton, chtsenumpton, ox, you are going to, chakam, pay, asu wetchum. Your electricity. Ox, you are going to. Chakam, pay. Asu, wetchum. Your electricity. Ox, you are going to. Chakam, pay. A seulk, your water. Ax chakam, a seulk, you're going to pay for your water. Ax chakam, you are going to pay. An hui, your bills. Or your debts. Ax chakam an hui. You're going to pay your debts. Okay. Now let's go back to food. Seetlin. Some of the foods that you buy. First of all, you go to a store. I didn't do that one. Sin to me. Sin to me. Chicks, I am going to. To me, buy. Tsilin, food. Chicks to me, Tsilin. I am going to buy food. And then the foods is some of them that you would buy at Sintumi. Patak, patak, chicks to meat, patak. I'm going to buy potatoes. Chicks to meat, skeltch. I'm going to buy meat. Chicks to meat, sinkotpu. Chicks to meat and kotpu. I'm going to buy bread. Chicks to meat chamitlaman. Chicks to meat chamitlaman. I'm going to buy butter. Chicks to meat uuse. Chicks to meat uuse. I'm going to buy eggs. 
Chicks to me till kosho. Chicks to me till kosho. I'm going to buy bacon or ham or sausage. Any pork products we call it kosho. Okay. Let's go through those foods again. Patak. Skertch. Sinkotpu. Chimitlamin. Uuse. Uuse. El kosho. El kosho. Okay. Those are some of the things, some of the foods that you would buy. Next time we have a show, we'll talk about other things we can buy, like clothing, a house, a car, and we'll expand on those things a little bit. So I'd like to take this opportunity to say lemdum to everybody for watching. Lemblum for all your comments, and I appreciate what you have to say about this show. So, whenever you see me, and if you've watched, please let me know how you like it.